In this lesson, we're going to look at writing linear equations in point-slope form. So just to review, we've been working in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, where b is the y-intercept, and m is the slope. So two things we typically want to know about lines, so it's pretty handy. Um, it's got several advantages. Handy to use. It's easy to graph. And it's used all the time in math, business, science. The only disadvantage of it is it, it can be a bit clunky to set up. It takes time to set it up. So, are there other ways to represent a line? Of course, the answer is yes. Today, we're going to put one of them together called point slope. It's a lot faster to write, and it can get you to slope intercept. Whether it's faster or slower is yeah, subject to debate. So here's the equation, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where all three of these pieces, y1, m, and x1, they're actual numbers. So, what's it mean? How does it work? Well, let's put this line in point slope. So, same thing as before, we need to find the slope, in this case we get negative 6 over negative 3, which reduces to 2, and now we're just going to put it in point slope form. Now the neat thing is, point slope, there's not one solution. There could be multiple solutions, depends on the point you use. Slope's always a change. Uh, slope is do never changes, but the point will. So let's try it with 2, 5. We'll put 2, 5 here. Well, that's the x, that's the y. We get y minus 5 equals 2 times x minus 2, and we're done. So you can see it can be fairly quick to put that in order. We try it with negative 1, negative 1, get y minus negative 1, and you get really good at converting that to plus in your head very quickly, equals 2 times x plus 1. Either one of these can work. So when you're doing problems on a quiz, on a test, on a homework set, just remember, if your answers don't match up, somebody might have done it in a slightly different way, so you have to check your work. So why use point slope form? As we just said, it's easier to set up. And then you can use it to get to slope intercept. What do I recommend? Slope intercept. If you're going to work on your ACT, if you're going to be prepared for the future of math, business, statistics, everything's in slope-intercept form. But you can use point-slope to get there. So now we'll go and just play with it a little bit. So there's two ways to graph this. First way, which I don't necessarily recommend, is to write the point. <clears throat> you get pretty good at understanding that negative 3 means positive 3 and positive 2 means negative 2. So since we know that point is on there, we just pluck that point out. 3, 1, 2, 3, down 2, 1, 2. Then we use the slope of 2 thirds. Goes up 2 into the right 3 or down 2, 1, 2, and to the right 3, 1, 2, 3. And we can graph that way. 
Never ever recommend that. What I would do is rewrite the equation. Y plus two equals two thirds X minus three and distribute the two thirds. Y plus two equals two thirds X minus two. Rewrite, get Y equals two thirds X minus four. Then when you go to graph it, you just graph it using your standard slope intercept way. Starts at negative four, goes up two over three. The graph looks almost exactly the same. You can argue that graphing it the first way is a little faster, but I will argue that the second way is more useful in all applications. So now I'll write an equation point slope form for this graph. Well, first things we need the slope. So this point is negative uh, one, three. Call that x1 and y1. This point is one comma one. Call that x2 and y2. Slope is one minus three divided by one minus negative one. Negative two over two equals negative one. And now we could write it in either point, so let's write them both. Y minus three equals negative one. X plus one, and that's okay. Or Y minus one equals negative one. X minus one, that's also okay. Notice that the biggest problem people have is keeping the digits in the right spot. This point is negative one comma three, but when we write it, we write the negative three and the positive one in reverse order because it's y minus and x minus. So make sure you watch out for that. Last problem, slope first. M equals four minus three over four minus two, one half. Now, just write it in point slope. Well, again, we can do it either way. Y minus 3 equals 1 half. X minus 2. That's for the point 2 comma 3. For the point 4 comma 4. Y minus 4 equals 1 half. X minus 4. Either one works. Doesn't matter. That's it. Good luck.